We are very proud of you. It's beautiful work. It's beautiful in this space. We are very confident in uh, how you're going to progress for the last fine tuning. But for now, I think the most important thing enjoy it here, enjoy all these works, talk to the students, to say what you think of it, give them uh, your feedback, that's very important to them. And uh, congratulate our uh, 17 new art scientists. <laughs> I just wanted to say, uh, well, guys, we, we're doing it. Well, we can prove to ourselves that we can also do this. So I think we enter the real world of uh, you know, working and being artists. So you know, whatever you're doubting, just don't doubt it because we can really do it. Most of our departments are here today. I think that's what makes our science great is that we're so collaborative. You know, we don't work alone. We really have a team, so and I think that's something once we graduate, we will take with us when we go, so we can always have our network. So I don't think it's the end. You'll be hearing from us. Yeah, well, thanks everybody for being here, and guys, we really, really did it. this exhibition is unexpected smells because those are the only ones we consciously perceive all other smells we perceive subconsciously all day during the night because we expect them only when you don't expect a smell then you become consciously aware of it and then conversation can start to take place and what I notice is that many people once they start smelling which they're maybe not that used to, they want to label it. They want to label, what am I smelling? Is it this, is it that? But maybe that's not the most important thing in your experience. Maybe you should rather notice, what does it make me feel? Have I smelled it before? Things happening in the process, but working with 17 creative people can sometimes create a lot of um, 
tensions, but I think that's also a very good thing because it's a huge learning experience for for all of us, you know, how to come together. Uh, there's a lot of artist-run initiatives, so when you're all together working um, and the roles are undefined, then you just kind of have to, yeah, create something from from nothing, and that can be quite a challenge. But I think we I think we did a good job. In life, you have choices. They help you, and not. And sometimes, it's tricky to choose what you want. So if you're wondering what makes you ill, it's easy, because everything will. That teddy bear laying on the ground, a lonely soul inside him stays, and laying there no complaints, no fears, a single sound of warmth still echoes in his ears. outside in academic settings, which is what I uh, would like to see, you know? Because what these um, students have done is creating work that cannot possibly be conveyed by social media on the internet, it cannot be documented uh, because of its ephemerality. What it means is that it brings people together in a, a physical space um, it's a unique moment in time and um, I think we all fight um, maybe isolation, loneliness behind our uh, desks and uh, looking at our screens, just using our ears and eyes isolatedly. And what these people uh, created here really forces us, or forces, invites us to use our bodies again in a social way with each other um, because of the physical presence it requires.